So, um, as I was saying about the vamp guy, um, Metal Gear Solid 2, he's a dude who has a vampire motif. He's got, like, slicked back, really long, dark hair, fangs. Uh, his whole backstory was he, he and his family were, like, in a church trying to, um, uh, not get bombed by some military and a bomb hits the church a cross falls on him and he gets pinned to the ground he gets he's stuck there for like a week right underneath this cross the only form of sustenance he has is his parents blood that's like trickling towards him right yeah, so uh-huh that's not how he gets his uh his nickname he gets his nickname because he's bi and it has this it has this whole big thing where where Snake is telling Raiden this. He's like, Yeah, he has this tragic backstory where he had to survive off of his parents' own blood. And then Raiden's like, Oh, so that's how he how he got the nickname Vamp. No. He's bisexual. Do I get to play another boss now? Yeah. I know the fear the is coming up. Like when it when it hits nighttime, the fear is is going to be soon. So once I get out of the, so like right now, right in this cutscene. <laughs> Looks like nighttime's starting to come. Cause. <laughs> what? <laughs> they're hover, they're hover like. Uh, they're not chairs. They're not motorcycles. It's like. A single platform that you stand on, and it's got like a front shield. Hover segue. Hover segue? Did you say? <laughs> yeah, basically, actually. That's a marsh. Never. What? <laughs> this isn't like Resident Evil Four, where some guy's just gonna pop out in a trench coat and go, "Welcome." Yeah. I mean, I could definitely see it happening. I could too. But I've seen the thing about like. Something with the fear, and if you leave the game, uh -oh. you activate a special, uh, um, like a special mini game almost. Like a weird, like, hack and slash game. Oh, that was in the original PS2 one? Oh, this uh, is in this one. Yeah. Gotcha. Got, got, no. Get away from me. <laughs> <laughs> well, you hit him at least once. I think scientist is probably the best. <laughs> of course. There's nothing conspicuous about a scientist just walking through the water right now. It's like some UFO bullshit. Fitting. He said the thing. He said the thing that does things. Game over. Shows. Movie's done. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to go. To Pony Zovje Warehouse. Exterior. I feel like this is where I'm supposed to go. This is definitely where I was supposed to go. See? Oh! You know what? What's that? We missed the fun thing. What's the fun thing? Oh, there so, he is. So, I'm pretty sure the other way is where the sniper rifle is. Okay, so can we just go back the other way? Well, we're gonna miss the thing now. Because you need the sniper rifle prior. Gotcha. Um, if you have the sniper rifle during this scene, you can kill one of the bosses later. Really now? The How end. Because he's just in a wheelchair here. <laughs> you can straight up shoot him in the face, kill him, and then not have to fight him later. <laughs> oh, that was messed up. Each time you resist, your lover will suffer the consequences. Is that clear? Dude, I wouldn't mess with Sokolov. He can do a Kamehameha. Damn you. You're only alive because he wants you alive. <laughs> He's merciful enough. He is a kind god. Dude, come on. Electrifying. Oh, uh, yeah. Do we really get, gotta get rapey here? She can poke at that. They just straight up burned her. <laughs> Stockings. She go polka dots. Yeah, shock that titty. Oh. 
<laughs> one goober just Hold grunt. Right there, traitor. <sighs> Let's find out just how lucky you are. Yeah, this doesn't seem smart. <laughs> Let's play course. Russian roulette with the scientist that's integral to our plans. Yeah. Oh yes, God. Three guns. Single bullet in it. Is it three or is it still two? It's three. Oh, it is three. He has two in one hand. <laughs> you know Zoro from One Piece. He uses a gun in his mouth. Are you ready to see a man piss himself? <laughs> huh. Looks like your luck hasn't run out yet. There's no mm. such thing as luck on the battlefield. Mm. Even though in Metal Gear Solid 2, there's a <laughs> boss whose like entire thing is that she's just super lucky. You'd better stay in line from now on. Yeah, that's a lot. She can't throw it in the, the water. The cobras will take care of him. Yeah, this one's mine. It's kind of funny though because. She uh, always takes apart guns. <laughs> Is that her power? She can take apart guns. It's funny though because um, it's widely accepted that he is her son. Huh. So all of the times where she uh, like kind of chides him. He's angry. Need super strength and be able to fire bullets. And this guy's got everything. Oh yeah, did you like he was lifting up 800 pound weapon parts? Yeah, like it was nothing. And he was he was just holding a uh, Eva like she was a bag of grapes mm -hmm. with one hand. You must eliminate him before the final test. Nah, she's she's at least two melons. <laughs> They'll yeah, because he was fucking it. grabbing onto one. This is the guy you can kill. Ah, uh, Isn't this also, also the guy that you can like leave the game for a week and he dies? Yeah. Cries? So, so with with our recording <laughs> schedule, we very well may see that. That's the boss we're gonna light a fire on his ass. Saving what life he has left in him for battle. <laughs> Normally, he's dead. <laughs> Normally, he's but just a wake corpse. up when the time is right. Like literally. <laughs> um. Ominous lighting. <laughs> in. And when he does, it will be the end for the boy. Really? <laughs> really? We need a pun. Oh, and there's the sorrow. Yeah. Oh no, that was Eva. Never mind. Do we really need a pun there? Of course. Sokolov isn't worth your love. Um. You should be in love with me, the guy who shot your titties. <laughs> I know you're into that kinky shit. Oh god. Um, the end actually ends up playing kind of a big part in Metal Gear Solid V. Because it turns out that he's infected with like the same kind of parasite as Quiet. The one that lets him uh, breathe through his skin and absorb uh, sunlight for energy. Okay. <laughs> so he doesn't have to eat. Gotcha. The sorrow. Is that you? Quick look around. Oh, can you? Oh, yeah. Kinda. I'm pretty sure the sorrow is just hovering around. Gotcha. 
So is this where we can shoot the <coughs> him? Yeah. I mean, you could try with the handgun, but I doubt you're going to hit him. Just throw a grenade. It's too far away, I'm pretty sure. Just get Uncle Rico. How much would I get to throw a football? You gotta be quick, gotta be quick. I just don't think I can I have the angle at all. Uh, it's when he, he like, starts going back through the, the door. Yeah, see, it's gonna be, it's rough with a sniper rifle. It's gonna be super hard with the, with the oh, pistol. Oh, fuck yeah, I didn't even see him go out there. Okay. So we gotta go back to the circle. Yeah, I, bl I believe it's back here. Um, it's probably, <clears throat> that's probably another vantage point. No, because you have to go through here for the cutscene, I think. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Your chance is, like, literally right when he's, like, going through the door again. Mm -hmm. I see. Dun, 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 dun. Walking through water. It's waist high, so I'm slow. Oh, three Anna. <laughs> three Anna. It's already three Anna. Oh, I thought it was only two Anna. Oh, I have to get going. I don't see a sniper right here. I don't, yeah, I don't oh, see like a small around. cliff or something. something like over easy. there. Okay. I, I didn't mean like it was like immediately there. It's it's around here. I'm pretty sure. Gotcha. I just remember it being close by because you, you have to have it for that scene to be able to. Yeah, there's guys here. Oh. He's right there. Hmm. 